Animating text like this can be challenging, but this tutorial will help you how to do that. Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this typography animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, start them in After Effects. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. Now in order to create these kind of animations, we are going to create a very long vertical comp. So for that, I'm going to just increase the height. So let's just multiply it by four so that we have a very nice vertical comp and let's call this one text. And if I click on OK, you can see we have this very nice vertical comp. And first we are going to create a solid for the background. And it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to make this like a little bit off white. So here we have our background. Now, in order to create these kind of animations, you can use any song, any voiceover or whatever you want. Now, what you are going to type depends upon what kind of voiceover you have. What are the wordings in that? So if you're using any song, you can use lyrics as well. But for this example, I'm going to just type some random words just to show you how you can do that. So first, let's select the text tool. Just click and type whatever you want. And it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever color you want. For this one, let's just make it this dark color just click on ok now i'm going to select this and let's just quickly place it at the bottom of this composition now we are going to place it in the middle you can do that using the align panel if you're not able to see it then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now first we are going to like place it somewhere around here now let's select its anchor point and let's move it down below let's animate it by adding a keyframe for scale so in the beginning i'm going to like just set this to zero and let's move like a couple of frames five or six and just set this to 100 there you go now we can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and i'm going to quickly change it to look something like that so we have our first text now if i press play you can see we have our text popping up now in the same way we are going to create other text layers one after other so for that let's select this and i'm going to quickly duplicate this let's move it to the top and this time we can type different text let's type text and let's select this you can play around with the size as well let's increase the size and just place it over here and you can move its anchor point down below as well like that so here we have like two text now you can change its color again these are some things that you can like play around on your own there you go now we have like two text now i'm going to like repeat this step till we have like bunch of different text stacked on top of each other you can do one more thing to make it like a little bit more creative you can have like some text to this side and some on the other side let's duplicate this let's place one over here let's change the color now let's select this text and duplicate it and let's place one more at this point let's type our text and we want this to be like quite big so i can increase its size something like that now we can select this press duplicate by pressing ctrl d let's add one more text here you can see we are adding text stacked on top of each other so one after other so in the same way you can like keep on going and keep on adding more text i'm going to fast forward this step now i have added all the text that i want in my animation let's quickly select them and after that let's press u just to see all the keyframes and make sure that their easing is same so now you can see all the easing is same once you're done with this, we are ready to sync them according to our music or any voiceover that you have. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project file, exclusive templates and all the advanced VFX and CGI tutorials. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So since I don't have anything, I'm going to just randomly sync them. So syncing part is also quite easy. All you have to do is just simply move it and just play it. And as soon as you hear the word in your track, then you just bring the next text like that. If it is fast, then you can like bring them really close. For example, like this. And I'm going to quickly just randomly bring some of these text and let's just move them away. So I'm randomly just making them appear one after the. There you go. Now I have stacked all of these layers. So if I press play, you can see our text is appearing one after the. This is exactly what we want. Again, you can sync them according to your voiceover or any music that you have. So once you're happy with this, we can quickly hide this layer. 
for now and let's create one more composition this time i'm going to call this one main and for this one width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 because this is going to be our regular composition let's click on ok let's drag in our text comp now inside this we are going to add another solid so just click on ok let's place it at the bottom so now you can see we have our vertical composition and let's just quickly place it so that this text is somewhere around here now before we start animating it we are going to add our camera so right click let's add a camera and i'm using this 36 mm camera so just click on ok and let's make sure that this layer is 3d now we are going to orient this camera so that this text is at an angle now we want our text to be at an angle so for that we can select this text let's press r and let's just rotate it and you can also play around with its position so let's just place it somewhere around here and i'm going to place it like this so i think this looks good to me now we can start animating it if you want you can like go a little bit more crazy and just place it something like that yeah, i think this looks good now we can align it wherever we want perfect so here we have our text now we can select this camera and we are going to play around with a couple of settings so first i'm going to enable the depth of field so under here we have this depth of field let's just enable it and I'm going to increase the aperture quite a bit so that everything will be blurred that is out of our focus. So this is the focus distance point. So I'm going to like move it somewhere in the middle, which is this area so that whenever we are animating, any text that is inside this region will be focused. Once you're happy with this, we are ready to animate our text. So let's select this, press P for our position. Let's add keyframes. Now in the beginning, we can like move a little bit ahead. And as soon as our first text is coming, so we can move it like away. We are going to use the Y property and the Z property. So let's just move it away. Something like that. So this is going to be our first position. And as soon as it is appearing, we can like make it come closer. So make sure that you are using these properties so that this is always in focus like that. So once it is here we can like move little bit ahead and as soon as the next text comes in we can again play around with the y value and the z value to keep this text in focus like that now let's go to the next text which is this one again let's move down and let's move up so that this text is in focus there you go let's move like little bit ahead and let's do the same thing there you go so here you can see if i press play you can see our text is moving and it is revealing now let's keep on doing this so now i'm done with this animation and our next step is to easy ease these keyframes so let's select everything press f9 to easy ease them let's go to the graph editor now for this one we are going to change the curve to look something like this we want them to like start very slow and have little bit of sharp easing in the middle i think this is too much so for that we can like just lower it down somewhere around here looks good to me perfect now if i press play you can see as our text is revealing our camera is moving as well now there is one more thing we can probably select them and let's just have little bit of delay so that this is like little bit more smooth there you go so now we are done with our animation and let's stylize this more so for that we can do one more thing so if i select this camera let's press p for position let's hold on the alt key and click on this stopwatch now we can type a little bit of wiggle expression so that the camera is not still so i'm going to type just 0 0.2 comma 50 so that we have this very subtle movement in the camera as well now if i press play you can see we have this very subtle movement in the camera as well it is not staying still now after this we can have a little bit of vignetting so let's add an adjustment layer and on top of this we can apply cc vignetting and let's drag it over here this will basically give you more stylized sort of look there you go now at last we can apply some drop shadows to this let's search for drop shadow and let's drag it over here let's go to the beginning we don't want it to be like this harsh we can increase the distance like that and let's decrease the shadow 
something like this looks good to me so we have this very subtle shadow so we are basically done with our animation if you want you can add some grid to this as well to like make it look more nice so for example let's enable this and on top of this let's search for grid and let's drag it over here now in order to view it we can probably zoom in so here you can see we have this grid we can remove this and just quickly change its color to black and first we are going to change this to width slider and after that let's increase this somewhere around here border we can like make it very light now if i go back here you can see we are able to see this grid but i think the size is too big let's just add a little bit of subtleness there you go now you can see we have added our grid now if i press play you can see we have our text coming in and i think the blur is too much so we can like drop down this aperture so that everything is in focus perfect now we can do one more thing in the beginning we can have opacity animation so that it is not visible and it will appear once we have this text coming in so now if i press play you can see we are done with our kinetic typography animation and we have our text coming up with this very nice depth of field and all the effects already applied so this is how you can create these kind of typography video and you can use them in your lyrics video or your voiceovers wherever you want now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one